Welcome along to Sports Desk. Let's start with some breaking news. Big story for the last couple of weeks as we await Chelsea to announce their new head coach in replacing Mauricio Pochettino and Carve. It looks like we are edging closer still. Yes, Chelsea are going to announce at three o'clock today, which is now, uh, right around now, that uh, Enzo Maresca is going to be their new head coach. Uh, he has signed a five-year contract with the option also of an extra year, and he's moving from Leicester City with six members of his backroom staff including Willy Caballero. OK, I'll interrupt you briefly there, Carve, because we do have a press release now, and it's come from Leicester, not from Chelsea. Uh, this is what it has to say. Leicester City Football Club can today confirm the departure of Enzo Maresca from his position as first-team manager. Given the promising foundations established during his single season in charge, the club is disappointed that Enzo has decided at this stage that he no longer wants to be part of our vision. However, with Enzo's decision made and the board's terms for his departure met, we wish him well in his future endeavours. He leaves with the appreciation of everyone at the club for his work in helping us to achieve an immediate return to the Premier League during the 2023-24 season. As Akave just mentioned, staff members Willy Caballero, Danny Walker, Michel Di Bernardin, uh, Marcus Alvarez, Javier Molina Caballero and uh, Roberto Vitiello will also be leaving the club. They say the board will now commence the process of appointing a new manager that will lead our return to the Premier League and continue the implementation of our long-term vision for the success of Leicester City Football Club. And as I read that as well, uh, Carve has just passed me his uh, phone with X uh, loaded up and Chelsea on their account have announced the arrival of Enzo Maresca. They say simply, welcome to Chelsea Enzo Maresca, hashtag welcome Enzo. So it is official. We know the man who has replaced Mauricio Pochettino. It is the man that led Leicester to the Premier League at the first time of asking. It is the man who worked under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. It is Enzo Maresca. So, uh, Carve, really interestingly, uh, they're, Leicester saying, obviously, naturally, they're disappointed that he's gone. They wanted him to be part of the long-term vision I guess it's uh, maybe a silly question, but why has he decided to make this move to Chelsea? You know, it's early in his managerial career. It's obviously a great opportunity for him. But what do you think really pulled him to this job? Well, I think basically what's happened at Chelsea is uh, Maurizio Pochettino left by uh, mutual agreement two weeks ago. And Chelsea have had a recruitment process uh, which has been led by the two uh, sporting directors, co-sporting directors at the club, Paul Wynn Stanley and Lawrence Stewart. And the process has been pretty fast. Pretty quickly, they had a short list. On that short list was Thomas Frank, Kieran McKenna, Enzo Maresca. Also, other names were considered, including Roberta De Zerbi. Uh, Vincent Company is somebody who was close to getting uh, the job last summer, but, of course, he has moved uh, to Bayern Munich. But pretty quickly, they identified Enzo Maresca as their number one choice. And the reason behind that is because even though he doesn't have very much management experience, no management experience at all in the Premier League, he does have coaching experience in the Premier League under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. And they have been very impressed with how he came across in his interview, how much he knows about the Chelsea squad. He really knows a lot about every player. And also, he plays the way that Chelsea want to play. So going forward, it will be all about possession. It will be all about positional play. And he really buys in to the vision of the future that the sporting directors and the owners have for Chelsea Football Club. OK, Carve, we have a statement now from... Chelsea, uh, they say Chelsea Football Club is delighted to announce the appointment of Enzo Maresca as new head coach of the men's team. The Italian will begin his new role on 1st of July 2024 on a five-year contract with a club option 
of a further year. We'll get Carve's thoughts on that in a moment. Uh, well, Lawrence Stewart and Paul Wynn Stanley, the Chelsea's co sporting directors, have had this to say. We are delighted to welcome Enzo to Chelsea. He's proven himself to be an excellent coach capable of delivering impressive results with an exciting and identifiable style. Enzo has deeply impressed us in our discussions leading up to his appointment. His ambitions and work ethic align with those of the club. We thoroughly look forward to working with him. This is what Chelsea's ownership group have had to say. We are thrilled to welcome Enzo into the Chelsea family. We look forward to supporting him and the rest of the sporting team in fulfilling their potential and our expectations over the years to come. He is a highly gifted coach and leader that we are confident can help fulfil our vision and competitive goals for the club. As for Maresca himself, this is what he's had to say. To join Chelsea, one of the biggest clubs in the world, is a dream for any coach. It is why I am so excited by this opportunity. I look forward to working with a very talented group of players and staff to develop a team that continues the club's tradition of success and makes our fans proud. Well, further on in this statement, Chelsea do confirm the staff members that will be joining alongside Enzo Maresca uh, includes former Chelsea goalkeeper, as expected, Willy Caballero. Also, Danny Walker, Michel Di Bernardin, uh, Marco, Marcus Alvarez, Javi Molina and Roberto Vitiello. Ben Roberts will join the staff as goalkeeper coach and has been appointed to the role of head of global goalkeeping. They also say they're delighted to confirm the appointment of Bernardo Cueva, who will lead the set-piece department. Uh, so, Carve, five-year deal with an option, a club option, of a further one. So potentially a six-year deal. We've been used to seeing big contracts for players at Chelsea. This seems a continuation of that from the club's owners, particularly risky potentially for a man who hasn't managed in the Premier League yet. Well, I think it shows you that they have total confidence in him. And it also shows you that he is totally committed to working at Chelsea. And I'm getting a sense of what he's actually been up to over the past few days. Even though he's been on holiday in Marbella, Enzo Maresca has been watching videos uh, on his laptop and iPad of Chelsea performances. And even though he already knows a lot about Chelsea players, he has asked Chelsea to provide uh, him with detailed performance analysis of not just first team squad players, but also all the youth players at the club. So already he wants to hit the ground running. And I'm being told that he's a little bit disappointed that he can't start work today, that pre-season can't start today, because he's so raring to go to start work as the new Chelsea head coach. So I think, to answer your question, the reason he's getting such a long-term contract is... Chelsea tried having a short-term contract for Maurizio Pochettino. It was only two years plus the option of another year. But if you give a manager just a two-year contract, then you don't have the stability that you want going forward. And there's always uncertainty about what is going to be happening uh, to the manager in the future. Everybody at the moment now has certainty at Chelsea. Enzo Maresca was the unanimous number one choice mm. to become the new head coach. Chelsea's co-owners, co-sporting directors have total faith in him and he has total faith in what he's signed up to. He believes that he has a brilliant squad, one of the best squads in the Premier League, a young squad, players who he believes he can develop, players he believes can adapt to his style of play and this is going to be a new Chelsea. Now, obviously, there are some risks involved. There's always risks when you appoint... Uh, a new head coach, uh, but Chelsea's owners believe that this is a calculated risk. They've seen what's happened to Mikel Arteta, for instance. He was somebody who hadn't managed uh, at the top level either. He'd only worked under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. Well, Enzo Maresca has worked under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City, but he's also managed Leicester City and won uh, the championship last season and got them promotion at the first time of asking. So I know some people are a little bit sceptical. Some people are thinking, Enzo Maresca, is he really the right man for Chelsea? I can tell you 100%, everybody involved in making this decision and everybody who was part uh, of the talks around this 
is 100% convinced that Enzo Maresca is the right man for Chelsea. OK, so they have got the man that they wanted for this job. But he's going to take over a, a squad which has had massive investment, a billion pounds over the last couple of transfer windows. And, and just my mind's going back to a few of the things that we saw this season. I'm thinking the penalty incident between a few of the players when there seemed to be a little bit of commotion amongst the players. There are potentially some uh, big, let's say, characters within the squad. How do you think Maresca will deal with that? And is he the right person to, to do that? Look, I think, you know, um, a lot of the Chelsea players were disappointed that Maurizio Pochettino left. Uh, they had a very good relationship with him. Maurizio Pochettino is one of the most likeable men in football. But these are professional footballers. They know how football works. They know managers come and go. And I know for a fact that a lot of the members of this Chelsea squad are excited about the prospect of working with Maresca. And you know how football works. We've all known, basically, for at least a week that Enzo Maresca is going to be the next Chelsea head coach. And the Chelsea players have known that as well. So they will have been on their phones, they will have been contacting their friends, other players who've played in Mar with, under Maresca before trying to get information on him, what's he like, what's he like to work with. And I think they've been getting very positive reports back about him. He is not a manager, he is a head coach. He will be committed 100% to getting the best out of these players and also getting them to play the way he wants them to play. There'll be no deviation from that. He has got a set philosophy about the way football should be played. And that philosophy is exactly the same philosophy as the co-sporting directors and the co-owners of Chelsea. So it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. You know, there's going to be a lot for Chelsea players to take on board when they're training because there's going to be a new way of doing things. There's going to be a real focus on patterns of play, uh, keeping possession, uh, working on positional uh, play as well. It's going to be very rigid. It's going to be very strict the way things are done. But Maresca believes that his way of doing things guarantees success. So the players just have to buy into uh, what he is telling them because it's been successful in the past and he's convinced that it will be successful in the future as well. Looking at Chelsea's season from last season, they, they rallied to finish sixth in the Premier League, which were, from where they were didn't seem too, too bad in the end. They reached the semi-finals of the FA Cup and they reached the final of the EFL Cup as well, only to beaten by, be beaten by Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. So, in all, it wasn't a bad season, I think because of the investment, many people viewed it as such. But what do you think will represent success for Maresca, for the club's owners, for the club in general, for this first season under his tutelage I think <laughs> I don't know whether I should say this but I think <laughs> the people who run Chelsea what they want is Chelsea to be back at the level that they were at a few years ago which is being Premier League champions winning the Champions League for them being also Rans is not good enough so just finishing in the top four that's not a cause for celebration. Yes, of course, Chelsea should be back in the Champions League. But I think the reason they've gone for Enzo Maresca is because they believe that he's got a winner's mentality. He's got the mentality that Pep Guardiola has had. OK, he went to Leicester City. Leicester City have got a big budget compared to other clubs in the Championship. They've got a really, really good squad of players compared to other uh, players in the Championship. But that doesn't guarantee you success and there were ups and downs there were blips uh, some Leicester fans weren't happy with the style of football they were watching but at the end of the day they were champions he's got that winning mentality so a staging post is to get back into the Champions League but the destination is for Chelsea to be winning titles the destination is for Chelsea to be winning the European Cup again that is what is expected of Enzo Maresca. Now, he's not being told to do that straight away. The Chelsea owners aren't expecting him to click his fingers and for that to happen and for Chelsea uh, to win the European Cup and win the title next season. But they expect to see significant progress next season. They expect that when they watch 
Chelsea, they will be watching a team with a winning mentality, a team who've got a philosophy, a set way of playing, where every player knows what they're doing. And off the pitch as well, the backroom staff, there's going to be this new set-piece department, you know, uh, you know, they've beefed up the data, medical, recruitment, analysis, everything they've invested in. And now Enzo Maresca has to bring it all together and produce the results on the pitch. And they've been really impressed by everything they've heard from him. They've done a lot of uh, homework, background checks, spoken to people who've worked with him, watched his games, watched his training sessions. They believe that he is their man. And I know from the outside looking in, we're used to Chelsea appointing Jose Mourinho, Antonio Conte, Carlo Ancelotti, Gus Hiddink, you know, these big, big names. But Chelsea, I think, feel that football is changing. We've, we're entering the sort of era of head coaches mm. who've got a set way of playing and a set philosophy uh, and who buy in to the vision that the owners have and hopefully have a very harmonious relationship with everybody at the club. And they believe that's what they're going to get with Maresca. OK, we shall see. So Enzo Maresca joins uh, Chelsea on a five-year deal uh, from Leicester with a club option of a further year.